is expected to be okay. Now, since January the 1st, there have been 43 wrong-way crashes on Utah roads and freeways, uh, quite concerning for Utah Highway Patrol and UDOT. They just wrapped up a briefing today, this morning in Taylorsville. Let's check in now with new specialist Tamara Vaifanua with what this is all about. Tamara, it's got to be frustrating for them, no doubt. Yeah, you know, and they're taking a look at all of the data and the numbers and what they're seeing so far. They're not liking what they see. They tell us that seven people have died in a wrong way crash so far this year. So we're talking about seven lives lost, seven families broken and what Utah Highway Patrol and Utah UDOT is calling just a senseless tragedy. And they say that it needs to stop. So here are some of the numbers that they shared with us, some of the data they're seeing, at least from the last four years in 2019, they say there were 313 wrong way crashes that number jumped to 340 in 2020. Now in 2021, they say there was a total of 300 wrong way crashes. They say they've seen a 49% increase from last year to this year. And that's in the number of calls where troopers are sent out where they investigate these wrong way drivers. Now they say the vast majority of people do what they say, they call it self-correcting, meaning if they find themselves on the wrong side of the road, they recognize their mistake and then they quickly get off. But those who aren't so lucky can find themselves in a dangerous situation. Wish I could take all of you on scene to one of these, but they're brutal. They're impactful, and then having to go do notifications to family members is is, is a horrible thing to have to do. The unfortunate uh, reality is that a lot of times these crashes happen very fast, and there's not a lot of reaction time. So, you know, we're up against it when we get a, uh, a notification. Both these agencies understand this is significant enough to bring in outside help. So they are going to put together a task force to look at some viable solutions, things like what other states are doing that could possibly help us here in Utah. Uh, UDOT mentioned they have 35 wrong way detection cameras already set up, but could they possibly use more? Now, they feel like they're already going above and beyond with signage, and that's a lot of criticism we've heard about that. Perhaps people are becoming confused and may not see the signage, but UDOT says they are willing to consider everything on the table right now as far as enhancing safety measures. For KSL News at noon, I'm Tamara Vaifanua. Frustrating, Tamara. You've got uh, confusion, distraction, all of that to factor in. Thanks.